Well, the pandemic did a number on so many industries and some may never look the same again. The Gaming Control Board recently released great numbers, with March being the state's highest single month total since February 2013. And Fox 5's and Kara Kazuka is looking at how casinos may be impacted long term from the pandemic. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So I know that so many of us are so excited to get back into casinos as the way they were before the pandemic. However, I talked to someone said they're not going to look that way for a long time to come. The person I talked to is Andre Carrier. He is the CEO and president of Eureka Casinos. Now he tells me right now, many casinos, including his, are trying to figure out what pandemic practices are going to stay in place. He says things like plexiglass dividers, consistent sanitation, improved health hygiene practices, those are going to stay even after the virus is less of a threat, mostly because it makes people more comfortable with being around other people. He also says the way that games are played will probably be changed long term, including many table games not using chips or going completely cashless. Providing choices and options is what we do in the hospitality industry. And there's always going to be someone at the game who wants to shuffle their stack of chips because it's a ritual for them. There will also be people who don't and are just as happy to put um, a $100 bill in a uh, bill validator, just like they do on a slot machine. And so I think we'll see higher and higher adoptions of that. Now, Carrier tells me that one of the reasons that these changes will work is because people are flexible and ready to get back to some semblance of normal. Now, in the next hour, I did ask Carrier if they're ready to operate at a full 100% capacity once again. I'll tell you his answer. That's in the next hour. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Carrier, thank you.